Here we go. I don't know. We could be live right now. It says this meeting is being live streamed. There we go. We are live, even though it's saying on my end that we aren't live. There we are. <laughs> yeah, flashes a little sign on the screen that says so you, this meeting is being live streamed. Well, and there you we go. Click on got it. So we're good. Well, while you're watching that part, I'm watching the fact that uh, it's going live Zoom, blah, blah, blah. And so hi. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, welcome. We're Thank live. You. Thank you. I haven't had my first cup of coffee yet because the dog had to go outside and do her business. Oh, well, so, <laughs> if I seem a little groggy, I am. <laughs> well, you and I have really odd sleep patterns. I wonder if that's yeah. just because of the, you know, the energy out there. I was talking to uh, Johanna uh -huh. at the psychic fair, and I said, I need a reading. I, I, you know, I need 20 minutes of your time. I need you to tell me what the heck, because the people are going kind of, uh, stressing out a little. Um, we're kind of going into that time, as you know, because you study astrology, um, that we're coming into January where Pluto goes back where it was when America was born. And yes, Hawaii. it's our first Pluto return in 2022. It's exact. We've been in the energy of it for a while, for a few years now, because it's an outer planet. So things move very, very slowly. In that timeline so we've been experiencing it uh the beginnings of it for for a couple of years now but it goes direct so fasten your seat belt it, it goes it goes it, it goes exact not direct it goes exact in 2022 so just be prepared so Pluto is is the soul and so the soul of this nation is it's time for a review and if and we need to decide as a collective, and we will decide as a collective, unconsciously most likely, that um, what, what, what's going to happen? Are we going to continue with this this uh, country the way it is? Are we going to make changes? Are we going to continue with patriarchy? Are we going to continue with the toxic capitalism and the avarice, the greed that the, the ends justifies the means? What are we going to do? So we'll figure it out, I guess. Well, but don't you think that that energy of basically is civil unrest? We have yes, this, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, we're looking at how we treat people, and I'm not talking just one on one because that's bad enough. Yeah, but collectively, culture to culture, I don't want a repeat of the last 230 years. Mm -mm. I mean, this is for me, in my opinion, we have got to understand that we're all we've all been every culture sure. we've had all these different experiences when do we want to say hey it's time to raise our consciousness and be grateful for the beauty of all cultures coming together yeah well that would be absolutely amazing and beautifully idyllic and and would make the, the planet a better place to be. Um, and I'm hoping that we decide that as a collective. I'm, I'm really, and I'm setting that intention that we, we decide upon that as a collective, but we have a lot of people who earn a lot of money doing really bad things. And they like having their yachts and their mansions on every continent on the planet. I mean, how much do you need? How much do you need? Well, you know? Because, you know, I, I was listening to um, a spiritual talk this morning and, you know, Michael Rhodes has said it, we've said it, the whole idea is that we all don't think we have enough. Yeah. You know, and a sense of lack. Exactly. And what we don't realize is, you know, and it took me a long time to understand, um, I lived in a home that was not considered uh, well-to-do or comfortable or whatever, um, raised my kids in a mobile home. And the funny thing about that was, is that I was thought to be, it was thought to be shameful because the 
context of people in mobile homes, you know, trailer park trash, this kind of thing. When I realized that I actually had more money than most people because I didn't have the debt that they had. My home was paid for everything. My car was paid for. I didn't have credit card debt and I slept well at night. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time to realize that people base their opinions of you predicated on what you have. It's true. And I'd rather people base their opinion of me on who I am. Of course. Which is what's so great about Resin and Essentials because we have a, a team effort of we just love everybody. We get along. Everybody's happy. Um, people are there to support each other's spiritual growth. You know, we, we work hard at, at growing. Um, that's the whole concept, I think, that uh, what a beautiful opportunity for us to embrace each other in spiritual unfoldment. Yeah, absolutely. And it's interesting because did, did you get that TikTok I sent you this morning? Not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. The girl that, that did it um, was talking about how this is a really, really rough time for people who are light workers and, uh, and that people are sleeping more, but that they wake up and they don't feel like they've slept at all. Like you said, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And yeah, that's true. That's, that's very true. There was a lot of stuff going on. People are worried. People are hoping COVID will go away. They keep saying when COVID will go away. It's not going to go away. It's going to be just like the influenza. <laughs> it will be exactly. here. Exactly. And it's, uh, I don't know. I think that some um, really nice person that comes in, he, this man does amazing Mandela's came in on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, there are millions of jobs where people wear a mask. Yes, there are. There are. And yeah, exactly. I mean, if, on the commercials, on t I just, just came to mind this, the, the Cheerios commercials when they're talking about heart healthy cherries and they, they show factory workers with their caps and their gowns and their masks on. And they wear that every day when they go to work. So yeah, that was a good observation on his part. And that's yeah, absolutely it, true. He, it, but the funny thing is, is that um, <sighs> they um, go through and it's, it's not a matter of who has COVID, who doesn't have COVID. It's, it's a matter of how we react to any illness. Sure. Stress will bring on any level of illness. We get cancer from stress. I mean, levels of cancer have gone up. Mm -hmm. um, diabetes has escalated. You know, I remember working for the American Diabetes Association, and it was the third largest killer by disease in the nation. And it was felt that the reason it was listed as the third is that oftentimes people went undiagnosed that had heart attacks and can't remember what the second one was, but heart, stroke, I think heart, well, heart and stroke were cardiovascular was number one. So, you know, it's how we react to it and what we do to take care of our bodies. Stress is the number one immune buster. Yeah. You know, it, we need to walk in the sunshine. Anyway, I'm sure people are kind of tired about that. What are you doing for the holidays? Not in, not anything. I don't want to do anything for the holidays. I'm going, to, I'm not, a, I'm not a holiday fan. Um, but, <laughs> but I have family who does holiday and I will be having Thanksgiving dinner at my brother's house and my sister will be there. Um, and his wife will be there and his ex will be there with her husband. And it's all very, very civilized. So that's nice. And then other than that, I'm just relaxing. I have a couple of projects I'm working on. I stay really busy. So I'll be doing that. I've got my dog that has to be beloved and taken care of. And so I'm just looking forward to relaxing and not doing a whole lot. Well, Though we have those specials coming up. So I'm hoping to get have a busy telephone. 
Well, we have Thanksgiving potluck. Yes, we do at the center. And for those people who are who are uh, wanting to come in and bring a dish and have some conversation, uh, we have your sale of what is it? Buy three get one free on both the thirty minute and the one hour readings. Right. So they save fifty to a hundred dollars. Right, and that begins on Black Friday. Right, so people can call up and and order. I know that we've got um, Elizabeth Prasapio who is going to be doing her cards, um, dreaming at the well. She's going to be doing a class on how to read her, her work with her cards, which are soul soul cards. Uh, so they look to me. I haven't had a chance to speak with her, but they look to me that she worked through soul collage to design them. And they're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. That's what it is. Soul collage. My phraseology. I'm still half asleep too. <laughs> we have Darlene Costello who will be, she's going to come to the psychic fair. Oh, good. In December. Mm -hmm. So people can get a taste of, of her readings so that when they, if they're interested in taking her class, which starts January 8th, They'll know what they're getting. She's amazing, isn't she? She's awesome. What days is she going to be teaching? She's going to be doing Saturdays, uh, the first, second, and third Saturday of the month from two to four. Two to four. First, second, and fourth. First, second, and fourth mm -hmm. Saturdays um, from two to four doing uh, tarot cards, uh, uh, eight-week course. Nice. It's a beginner's course, but I gotta tell you, take I've, I've taken her course. She she is my first instructor in tarot. She's my only instructor in tarot. I'll be honest. Um, years ago, many 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 moons ago, mm -hmm. and I still have files, and I'm talking files. Uh, <laughs> you do. I do. I do. It's right up here. It's in in my office, and I uh cherish every piece of paper um but she gives so much information away and it's amazing what she knows what she doesn't know about tarot doesn't bear knowing well and she's been doing this for how many years 40 years 45 years she's 45 been years she's been teaching yeah. but she's been reading longer than that <laughs> yeah she's amazing i sat at her table i was a querent and boy she was spectacular. She's dead on. Yeah, she is. She was she was amazing. So that's coming up in December and January. Uh, Psychic Fair, second Sunday of December, right? Yep, I think it's the 10th, isn't it? I'm going to look. I turned off my phone. I'm, I'm going to look. I'm going to look. 12th. 12th. Okay. Number 12. Yeah, 12. And then back to the um, Thanksgiving potluck at the Re Resident Essentials Center. What time are you all starting? 12 to 4. 12 to 4. Okay. It'll Thank be you. hot at 12, maybe not so much at 3. <laughs> <laughs> and you're bringing the turkey and the taters, right? Turkey, taters, and pumpkin pie, gluten pumpkin free. Pumpkin pie. And then everybody else that's coming is bringing a different dish. Good. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. That's nice for people who don't have a uh, family to, to do things with. I got to tell you what was really funny. Speaking of TikTok, mm -hmm. I was, you know, my penchant in the morning is to watch TikTok animal videos. And uh, once in a while, somebody comes on with something else. And this guy came up and said, guess what? <laughs> If you want to know and, and get connected to your spirit guides, ask them to, I'm sorry, can't even quit. I can imagine me telling this to Raven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stand at the far side of the room and tell them to take one step at a time. And when they get in front of you to touch you and see what happens. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking, Oh my God, if I told Raven to do that, he'd be like, what? <laughs> you think this is playtime? <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> it, 
I'm sorry, but I'm thinking, you know, it just must be me. But I guess people don't. <laughs> it's like, really? Let's well, you know, everybody has a different concept, and a lot of people who talk about this stuff really don't understand. I know. <laughs> they just clearly that guy doesn't understand, or he has a very it's different experience spirit. than we do. And spirit circle to learn better. <laughs> yeah. Either that, or he just has a really different experience than we do. Maybe his spirit team is like. Maybe they're practical jokers. I don't know. Maybe they were comedians. <laughs> I don't know. But I think if I had asked any of my, my team, come here, one step at a time, one step at a time, come closer, now touch me. They'd be going <laughs> <laughs> right on the head. <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong with you, girl? <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's silly, uh, but it's a good for a laugh, though. Yeah, yeah, it's good for a laugh. I so we have we have this week is Thanksgiving week, but we're still going to be at the center Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Uh yes. So we're there with our doing our thing. So if I'm people want to come in, uh, I'm checking to see if there's any comments. And there's Mari. Hi, Mari. <laughs> Oops, I'm trying to type it and it's not coming through. Huh. Anyway, yeah, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be open, but we're going to be closed for the, uh, we're going to be closed for Black Friday and that Saturday, everybody needs some time off. You and I have been hitting it almost seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So I need to get caught up because I'm going to be doing live classes from YouTube. Oh, right, right, right. And Brother Francis and I were trying to go live because of, we wanted to have a spiritual discussion about uh, the state of, of some of these ha uh, current events happening. Mm -hmm. And um, I was having some uh, some problems with the video so i've got to work out those bugs this week but yeah um we're going to be doing live classes i am um through youtube uh, they're gonna i'm gonna be doing some free ones um getting people pumped and ready to go so that they can start making that conscious shift so we'll be talking about candle gazing and how that works and we'll be talking about uh, doing candle prayer, candle rituals, so that um, we get that in our mindset. Plus, um, how's your Halloween? Since you did your Halloween review, how are, how's that turning out? You know, it's uh, been really interesting. I've had some very interesting dreams since then. Of course, I always have interesting dreams, but they have a little bit different <laughs> leaning to them. So, um, and I had a real interesting one. Was it two days ago? two or three days ago and I was talking with somebody about animal and animals and animal behaviors and about taking if you like we were talking about dogs and I said you know some people treat animals just like animals they don't understand that they're sentient beings in in animal costumes and that and that when you take a, a critter into your heart and open yourself up to it. They show you who you who they are, and they have total personalities and and idiosyncrasies. They're just like people. Well, they are people. They're just people with four legs and doggy and kitty and horsey and all kinds of birdy costumes, you know. And and the person that I was talking to in the dream said, "Well, you know, it stands to reason because everything has that they would be loving and and interesting because it's built into our DNA." love is built into our dna and it was like well that was an interesting thing to say <laughs> and but it's a truism yeah that's very powerful that's very true I yeah. love, you know I, I like the fact that when we should be acknowledging love the most fear is not built into our dna but i do believe love is i do too you know yeah. i think fear is created from others uh, bearing down on us well, and, and it's been, um, 
It's a function, it's also a function of patriarchy. Fear and guilt keeps people under control. Well, you know, I was talking to someone, I won't mention their, their name, but they said that they didn't think that they had any PTSD at all, that they had a nice normal upbringing and blah, 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 blah. And through, they were having a lot of stress and struggle and through a lot of deep dive into who they were and everything, they realized that they were being raised in a very evangelical upbringing that it really kind of traumatized them in ways that they did not quite understand that fear. If we're not good enough, if we're not, we don't do enough, we have to be a success. We have to be good. Or we're going to that ultimate hell fire and brimstone. That's going to come and bite us in the butt and take us for eternity. Instead of understanding that we're eternal beings of light and love. Yeah. But this kept us sequestered and suppressed and, kept us uh abusing under, each other under, under control. <laughs> under control and abusing each other yeah yeah <clears throat> you know as yeah it's uh it's really the gal that i study donna donnelly steel is the evolutionary astrologer that i study evolutionary astrology with and god i've with her been with her for years but i barely scratched the surface because um astrology is like peeling an onion it just layer she's been studying for almost 40 years and she's still <clears throat> still is learning stuff and she pointed something out and it's in our charts she was saying that about 80 to 85 percent of the people who come in come in with ptsd we come in with ptsd because for millennia we we mark our ears with wars right yes. you know when you you historically we mark our ears with wars and people come in at, with PTSD. And so, and then it just gets re-emphasized by the experiences that you have when you're here this time around. So, yeah. Isn't that what Michael Rhodes' heart meditation, heart house meditation was about too? Yeah, yeah. That, that concept of lack and um, all that trauma was in one of the heart house rooms. Mm -hmm. that we had been storing for forever yeah. and doing the healing heart we have to you know really you know he talks of the fifth chamber <clears throat> where you actually attack it goes to the vagus nerve so you know you want to calm down you you literally stroke the vagus nerve which is what i've talked about with clients for a long time is you know just doing this will help bring you down a notch but it helps to connect to the, the fifth chamber, that little heart node um, that he talks about. And we, we don't realize that we're carrying baggage because we're so linear. And how much of it is worth it? You know, we bring each other in to help us heal. So we, we lay blame for those horrible experiences on everybody else instead of saying, well, I really learned from this. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. My last uh, relationship that was 10 year relationship taught me so much about who I am. And I'm so grateful, even if it on the surface seemed like a really bad relationship. I mean, he taught me what love really is. And I can't not be grateful for that. You know? Yeah. yeah it's it's yeah. amazing how we, it's an interesting thing how we switch it up yeah so are we doing anything <clears throat> excuse me are we doing anything in december for uh solstice i don't know yet we have um on the 22nd i have there's a we're going to be closed because there's a wedding going to be oh there. right right there's a wedding in the center on the 22nd so the 21st is the solstice we should probably plan something is when's the next full moon we need to do a full moon deal also uh, let's see just a sec let me grab my astrology calendar uh 20 oh tuesday oh that's on the tuesday is when the the solstice is uh next full moon is so we just had one on the 19th the next <clears throat> new moon 
is beginning of December, depending on your time zone, it'll either be the third or the fourth of December. And then two weeks after that is the full moon on the 18th. And by the way, we are in eclipse season. Yes. So we're going to be we having the solar of the moon. Huh? The yeah. next one, will, this one was a lunar. So the next one will be a solar. Right. I was going to say the next one, that one's supposed to be a lot uh, pretty intense too, because this one was, I think. Oh, people, well, in, in eclipse, eclipses carry, they stay with you for a good long time. It's not just like a one shot deal for 48 hours. Well, I think this last eclipse was felt before it hit. And when it hit, yeah. it just kicked everybody's butt emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It's been rough, yeah. It's and been rough. I think it's the precursor to that Pluto thing we were talking about. Yeah, the like, Pluto return. Hey, hey, let's start triggering everybody to wake up. Let's wake everybody up. Yeah, it's... Uh... Boy, and we, <laughs> we're in a very, very deep sleep, so it's going to take a lot of rousing. <laughs> but don't say that. Let's just say that <laughs> this is how I'm viewing this. The people mm -hmm. who choose to, if they want to repeat this cycle of fear and discontent and go to work every day and, you know, live this 1950s kind of thought process that we seem to be stuck in. They're going to make a new timeline for themselves. And I'm going to go on with anybody who wants to go into more <laughs> peace, light, love, happiness, prosperity, abundance, love, kumbaya. I mean, that's the hippie in me. And I'm happy to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. I, I am thrilled over that. <laughs> that's, that's where I want to hang out. I'm, in, I'm going upwards. Good. That's my goal. Good. I think we all should. That would be a great thing for all of us to do. It would. It would. But like you said, there's a lot of people who are not ready for that. And if they're not ready, mm -hmm. they're just going to be, you know, we just got to love them through the process and have compassion mm -hmm. and hope that they get it sooner rather than later. But yeah, we're here for anybody who wants to wake up. You've got great um, cell going on with your readings. And I think, um, you know, I gave, uh, couple of christmas presents um one birthday christmas crossover present i gave them shirley's portraits oh nice and it is such an interesting gift to give i think between your gift and uh, you know giving gifts of readings and is just amazing especially for this time of year yeah uh let's talk a little bit about shirley because if somebody's listening in and they don't know who she is um let's talk about how amazing she is and what she does <clears throat> she is a spirit portraitist and she's in the uk so if anybody's interested in getting those uh type of gifts you want to get your order in um sooner rather than later so that you can get it by christmas she if she does it remote instead of through zoom you get more information because she does the portrait and then does the reading um so she writes the reading out for she does three portraits um one is usually a spirit teacher and the others are ancestors um maybe a descendant um whoever comes through because one of my children that I uh, a child that I lost had come through and not Lance a different one which was fine that was great because she helps me connect with the kids on the other side um Cheyenne and I have named her Amelia oh <laughs> I I'm sure she'll let me know what her name is um when she's ready but uh yeah um with that being said it's a really good gift because connecting to ancestors like um, someone that I gave the gift to had a great uncle who was there for one purpose and they had a an aunt who was adopted into their family um, that person was there to for to help with the family matters for this person so you know was there helping with that um because there's half of the family is in strife with this person and her other side of the family is not um 
and then of course the spirit teacher so <clears throat> you know such a great unique gift that and people can find her on they can contact her through resume essentials facebook page right well they can through contact her through the website oh right and they go to resonantessentials.com they can click on the link and no oh, that's right she's she's on the website that's right yeah so yeah. excellent she's very gifted as everybody is at re audrey is thinking that she's going to be up to par here soon and start doing her lives again oh very good that's good news i know right yeah because she's we really been under the weather we miss our audrey so she'll be popping back in sooner or later and um and we still have our our we, lives on tuesdays with donna lynn bloom mm -hmm. minnie and tarot and then thursdays with brother francis and fridays with you yep and um we will be doing um all the entertaining that we can possibly do for the holiday season if you guys have any topics that you want us to talk about bring to light or you want to know about each one of the readers and their specials you know hey um give us a holler well and johanna just reopened up the astrology what is it called astrology and friends or something like that what is the name of her thing that she does on saturdays albuquerque astrology group albuquerque astrology at the center on the third saturday of the month yeah and she just reinitiated that uh this past weekend wasn't it well she's been doing it well there was a thing on the astrology uh facebook page that she was said that she was um something about reinitiating the group maybe with different and they did the Sabian symbols. Oh yeah, they were very. Cool. I was. I looked. I went out there. I says, "You, this is the quietest I've ever heard y'all." Yeah. So there's. A, I guess there's a little shift in the group. Yes, um, actually doing work and and shifting and doing stuff and helping people get uh, more knowledge. So yeah. yeah, is she such a she's such a treasure? She is so knowledgeable and she's really good at what she does. Just did a lot of things. She was I mean, she was an amazing moderator for that webinar that we had. Yes, and if anybody's ready for the packages, we have those for sale too. Right, we have the packages, and the webinar is on YouTube, right? The webinar is on YouTube. We did that know. last Thursday, and we talked about um, the ancestor package. Yeah, and how to do how to connect to ancestors right what each one of our roles was and what we do yeah that was a she did a great job of moderating that she, she was said, awesome who she knew did. she had that talent as well i did because <laughs> i talented talent i do know of these talents yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's her her new moon circle online and yeah if you ever get a chance oh yeah that's great i've gone to that and it's awesome yeah, yeah. so we need to and she's she used to be there every Saturday, but because of schedules at home, she had to shift that a little bit. But she's still a she's still a presence at Ari, and when she does stuff, it's really good stuff. When she comes in for reading, she'll schedule to come in for a reading. Yeah, yeah. Well, so have we covered everything? We've covered everything. I think we did a good job. Um, Rosie and I've been at the center pretty much every day. We will be there Tuesday and Wednesday. If you have any questions, pop in. Um, You'll be there Thursday feeding people. Yes. Yes, I will. So much fun. I love to feed people. It's the Italian in me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, much and yours. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Yes, you will. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.